Hi, it's Ryan Leopold, Cobalt Mortgage, and today we're going to talk about uh, items needed anytime you go to get pre-approved for a mortgage. Anytime you go to buy a home, whether you're a first-time home buyer or bought multiple properties in the past, a lender's always going to want initial um, income and asset documents. They're going to want to see the most 30 days worth of pay stubs, uh, the most recent two years of W-2s, uh, tax returns for the last two years, including all schedules. Lenders also want to see the last two months of all bank statements, and this is important that you include all pages and lenders want to see real bank statements. They don't want to see computer printouts, actual real statements with all pages. And they're also going to want to see most recent statements for investment accounts and retirement accounts. Again, this is real statements with all pages. And it's probably a good idea to get together uh, the name and contact information for your insurance agent. So additional information that a lender may require, and this is on a case-by-case -case basis, they may require your 2010 and 2011 or most recent two years business tax returns if you owe, own over 25% of the business. Uh, they may want to see a, call, a copy of your college degree if you graduated in the last two years. Uh, if you went through a divorce, they may want to see a copy of your most recent uh, divorce decree and any child support or alimony statements, uh, any awards letter when it awards letters when it comes to Social Security, and a contract of employment if you recently started a new job. And again, this is just general information all lenders are going to want to receive uh, as you go through the pre-approval process.